Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoy this video, please come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. And if you don't want to watch another Brookhart home vlog, then just come back tomorrow on a Friday when we go do more fun stuff. But today we're staying home, doing more work on our projects. Um, don't know how much work Sarah's going to be doing on her project, but I need to do like some data staging and then I'll be running an automation that'll probably take a multiple hours, like four or five hours once I get it set up. So I'll probably end up vlogging a lot more tonight, but once I get my stuff set, cause then I can just let it run until, and, and I just have to monitor it to make sure there's no bugs. Not real bugs, but computer bugs, you know. This is Sarah's fancy, fancy dinner. She's, I don't know, she's made stuff like this before, but not quite like this. She's made like some soy sauce, saute stuff with some mushrooms and some, looks like pepper and green beans. And we got some rice over here. What do you call this? A Sarah Brookhart special? I don't know. Just rice and veggies. Looks good though and smells delicious. Oh, oui, oui, bonjour. Thank you. You're welcome. It smells delicious and I haven't even tried it. Do you want sriracha? Yes, please. Okay. The real question is, does Eve want sriracha? Sarah's new go-to for the for the time being with the Disney Plus at home edition. <clears throat> Wait, it's real. We have the Eve. It's just so <laughs> Minkus. The true mouth of the world. Get it? Where's my One Tree Hill fans? All right, here's where I'm at. I got my Excel sheet all set up, 2,000 lines of data. And I can't show too much because it's work-related, but there's our data system on the other half of my screen. I'm going to start this macro here, and it's going to start doing a bunch of commands. And as it does them, you'll see those little successes pop up. So it takes a few seconds to do each automation, but it'll go through this about 2,000 times tonight, which is why we're not going out and why I have to make sure this doesn't bug out or anything. There Sarah is. I'm on my last section. Yay. Yay, but then I have to do edits. Oh. Mm -hmm. I, I just brought this puppy out and we ran. Like we literally ran around. Really? And we ran up the stairs. I think she is over it. Speaking of running, are you ready tonight? I should be. I feel like it's because like we're home. I feel like it's like the time we sh usually get home from the park. Like I feel like it's ten o'clock, but it's only seven forty. The only thing is I have to like keep by the computer if it bugs out. True. So it's like I have to stop the automation to go run. Yeah. But I also have Avatar on. So not really a fun night at home. Oh, it's a working night at home, but progress. We'll feel really good after tonight. Hope so. Nothing too exciting? Nothing too exciting out the window, Everson? She went up there for a second and she like turned around and was like, this is boring. Just get comfy. Oh, good girl. She loves her couch, doesn't she? Just watch Avatar. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh. Santa Claus, after a hard day's work. Creepy Santa, when you're feeling creepy. Work computer, when you're still working at 10 o'clock at night. Puppy, when she's so perplexed at why we've been home all night. You okay? Don't side eye me like that. Now we're following up. I think Sarah's still working. Are you, how much more longer are you working? Technically, I don't even think I'm halfway done with this automation, so this could be running for like two hours. But we're following up with Avatar in proper fashion with the Lizzie McGuire movie. Um, it's looking ever more like I'm not going to run because of this work thing. But guys, I need like tomorrow is the day because I haven't run since Sunday. And I just got, my I think, my final email for the Daytona 50K with the final race packet and the details. And it's in three weeks. 
But if I go back to running tomorrow, that's only like I took four days off, but it just seems like a super long time because of how much running I've been doing. Hi guys, it's me, Sarah. Not sure if you remember me, but I'm married to Peter and I'm finally done working for the night. So Peter, what? He's not done working, but he's just like at this point, just like watching his screen to make sure nothing goes wrong. So we can, we can relax and watch the Santa Claus. But Peter stopped at the P.O. Box today and we have some things to share with you. I can already tell that this is beautiful. Is this from the Warrens? Wow, thank you, Brian and Tina. So cute. Where are we gonna put it? Can you tell like the wonderful is like raised? It's just so cool. Thank you. Okay, and the next thing is from Amy another little sweet pea necklace but it's so cute it's green and then it actually says sweet pea so I'm gonna have to bring this into the rotation and I love the chain it's, it's super dainty and pretty thank you so much Amy all right it's getting late it's like midnight and if I do the math my automation still has like another 40 minutes to run I think hopefully it's just 40 minutes and it's not like an hour or two at some point I'll cut it off and if anybody's curious it's a new process. No, I'll just. I can't pick up exactly where I left off. I'd have to wait until I get a refreshed file of data in the morning, do a comparison, formulate a new table. But it would still be like I've accomplished like seventy-five percent to eighty percent of what needs to get done. So that first eighty percent shouldn't have to get completely rid of just like little touch-ups. So that is an option, but I was hoping to get in the work tomorrow with all this done because it's a new process and this is like the big upload of data where every day it's just gonna be a small change, not like a massive change like it was today. So that's why today is different and I'd rather do it now rather than the office because as you can see, it like just consumes my computer. I have a secondary computer at the office that I could, but it still hinders my day because I have to be like cognizant of if this automation bombs out for any reason so but we're actually gonna the Santa Claus just ended so we're actually going to sit down and formally watch the first episode of the imaginary story so excited sleepy pulpy Peter you actually did the message for today yesterday oh I did? yeah um so I'll do yesterday's message it's the 14th today so I will read the 13th daily message Speak to all people as though they are the wisest, gentlest, most beautiful beings on earth. For what they believe, they become. Heather K. O'Hara. Did you finish? Awesome. It's 1.20 in the morning. Oh gosh, I'm gonna drive Peter to work in the morning. Honestly, today was a hard day, guys. It was just one of those days I could not get out of bed this morning um, until Don't almost like up. noon. Okay. Um, Grief just hits in different ways sometimes. Yeah, like just because we have good days or good weeks even doesn't belittle the fact that we went and are going through like the hardest thing, one of the hardest things you can possibly go through. Yeah. So it was a hard day for both of us. Yeah. I ended up calling Sarah at one point at work just being like, it's a bad day, like with my big project and then just feeling the extra mm -hmm. griefs coming Especially when coming we can't in. be together. Yeah. Um, but it was a good, productive night, and we picked ourselves up. And yeah, hopefully this will set up tomorrow at work to be easier. Yeah, and back to running, and back to yeah. cooking. And It'll be the weekend good. then. Yeah. More Christmas stuff and this we'll weekend. fill you guys in on your 50K. Yeah, I never ended up. up reading all the, the programs, so I have to read that more tomorrow. Yeah. I think we have to be out there Friday and Saturday. Cool. That'll be fun. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>